Hello and welcome again. In this session we will try to solve a problem of rigid body on that rigid body multiple forces are acting. If you will see this picture this is a bent body uh, A, B and C where B is a pin joint and there are multiple forces 25, 15, 10 and a couple of magnitude 6.25 and in the question it is asked that you have to find a resultant force and the position of the resultant force so what you need to understand that the, what do you mean by this resultant force this resultant force basically says that you have to remove all the forces and only you have to apply a resultant force that will give the same effect so this is an equivalent problem we solve normally when we solve the force couple system but here instead of acting applying force and couple we need a single force that will act somewhere on the body and which will the force the resultant force will create the same effect whatever I am getting because of these multiple forces so this is very standard problem and very standard solution what is the first step the first step to solve the problem is to find the resultant force as there are multiple forces acting on the body we have to um, and you can see carefully that there are horizontal forces as well as there are vertical forces to get the resultant of the forces first I have to find the total horizontal force in my system as well as total vertical force in my system suppose I am taking the right direction is my positive direction and upward direction is my positive direction so this 25 cos 40 is acting towards the right if I take the component of this 25 the, the two component one is the horizontal one is the vertical so 25 cos 40 is acting towards the right 15 is acting towards the left so the net force will be 4.15 similarly the vertical force 25 sin 40 minus 10 if you will see carefully I am not going to consider this couple in my force equation please remember because couple is a very special case of movement where you have only rotational effect and there will not be any force on the system so here also uh, I am going to consider only forces not the couple as well as if you are you are having a question in your mind that why we are not taking the reaction at point B so let me explain that I am interested to find a resultant force which is the replacement of the external forces what I am trying to do I am replacing the forces with a single force which will give the same effect so in that way I am only interested to remove the forces so that I have to just get the resultant of these forces not the reactions so here the horizontal force and the vertical force when I am going to solve the horizontal and vertical force the resultant is coming out 7.35 and when I will find the uh, angle the resultant is having an angle of 55.64 so actually this resultant force is acting in this direction the magnitude of the resultant force is 7.35 and the angle from the horizontal is 55.64 so this is the first and very standard step whenever you are having a problem where you have to find a resultant force and its a position when you will see the question it is given that you have to find the position along line BC so this is the line BC so this is the line BC why because I know the resultant force but I don't know from which point the resultant force is acting the resultant may go in this way here 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 anywhere the resultant will not be uh, you cannot say that the, the resultant will always be passed within the body if the resultant may pass from here or may pass from here because what we are trying to do we are going to get a force which should give the same effect that means you cannot constrain the position of the force that will be within the two ends of the body so in that way my force may pass from here may pass from here may pass from here but what is asked in the question that you have to find the position or the intersection point of the line of action of the force and the this horizontal line that means I am interested to find a point somewhere here so exactly I don't know where this point so what I can do this is the second step which is which says that first make the free body diagram again it is not the free body diagram I should say I should say that again make the diagram and in this diagram you can assume the resultant force anywhere in the space but you have to find the position of the resultant force which is along this line so what I can do I can simply consider that my resultant force is passing suppose the force is passing from here 
this is the resultant force and 7.35 is the value and this is the 55.64 if you have think that it should not be here you can consider the resultant force here and consider that this is my distance x but in this case i am assuming the resultant is here and the position of the resultant is considered that x from here now you what you need to do now what you can do you can take moment of all the forces about this pin point and whatever moment is acting on the body because of all these external forces the same moment should be there because of my resultant force so that means you have to write the equation for the moment balance at point b and that equation will be what you have to write the force and the perpendicular distance so if i will start individual force that 25 25 i can break the 25 this is 25 cos 45 uh, cos 40 the second one will be now 25 sine 40 now ignore this force because i have already considered the two component this th this distance are given if you will see this is 250 this is uh, 150 this angle is also given which is 50 degrees that means if i am interested to write the equation or the effect of this 25 cos 40 the line of action of 25 cos 40 is acting this way so i have to multiply this distance and this distance will be what this total distance is 250 and 150 this is 50 degree angle so this is 50 degree that means i have to multiply this 400 mm, mm so i can write this 0 0.4 uh, sin 50 when I am going to consider the effect of this force which is passing in this way so line of action and this is the perpendicular distance and the perpendicular distance will be 400 so 0 0.4 cos 50 now when I am interested to find the effect of this 15 Newton that 15 Newton is passing in this way so line of action is this so perpendicular distance about this point will be this one so it will be just 150 sin 50 now the strain force the 10 force is acting in this direction so the line of action passing here and this distance is given as 150 so simply i am going to use the 150 and finally i am going to simply take this couple so if i will write the equation for all the moments here is my effect of each force so you can see here that first is the 25 cos 40 and the distance will be this one which is 0 0.4 sin 50 so 0 0.4 sin 50 then the second force is acting in the upward direction so 25 sin 40 and this is my distance so this is 0 0.4 cos 50 now the 15 15 is here and this is the distance of so 15 in 0 0.15 sin 50 the 10 10 is acting in this direction so this is the distance and then the 6.25 but here you can see I have to put the sign of all the moments or the, the torque acting at this point. So I am if I am considering that the clockwise moment is positive. This is my convention. You can take counterclockwise as positive. It will not make any difference. But whatever you are doing for the force applied, the same rule has to apply for the resultant so basically what you are doing you are writing two part one is the left hand side another one is the right hand side the right hand side is going to take care of the resultant force and the left hand side is going to take care of all the forces applied so here i am writing the resultant force effect of the resultant force if you see the resultant force it is passing in this way so if i will break the resultant force into horizontal and vertical component the vertical component will be r sin theta and the horizontal component will be r cos theta but if you see here this is passing from this point so there will not be any effect of this point force in terms of couple or moment so i am not going to write the r cos theta into zero i am simply saying that r sin theta into x so this is my r sin theta into x now let's try to put the sign so here this is the horizontal force acting on the body and I know that if no other force is acting and only this force is acting, the body will rotate in the clockwise direction. So this is clockwise, so let's post positive. Similarly, if I want to find the sense of the moment because of this force, I will ignore all other forces and if I will consider that the point of rotation will be here, the body will again rotate in the clockwise sense, so second one will also be positive. Third one is the 15. If I will ignore all the forces and I will only consider the 15, I know that the rotation sense will be counterclockwise direction because when I will apply the force here and I want to 
see that how the body will rotate when this is a pin point it will rotate in the counterclockwise direction so it will be minus now the 10 10 is acting in this direction and if i will ignore all the forces the body will rotate in the clockwise sense so it is positive and 6.25 itself given as counterclockwise so it will be negative now the same rule has to apply for the resultant force as the resultant is acting in the upward direction i know that when i will apply a force in this way please you should not get confused that the force is not acting on the body so how it will produce the effect i don't know what is the position of the force but i know that force is acting in the upward direction and the body is pivoted at this point so you have to consider that it will have some effect and as it is acting in the upward direction suppose this is the ex extension of the body which is having no weight no particular geometry you have to just visualize that there is something which is connecting this force to the body and if there is something which is there that means that will there will be rotational effect and as the force is acting in the upward direction the body will rotate in the counterclockwise so again i am going to put the negative sign here so now this is the equation for the moment balance and when i will solve this equation i am getting my x which is coming out minus 0 0.58 so you can see here that it's very surprising but obvious fact that you as you don't know the position of the force it's not always true that wherever you are assuming the answer will be positive because my x is coming out negative it indicates that instead of having the, fo the force towards the right the force is towards the left side and the value uh, of that x point means that force resultant is passing from somewhere here and the distance of this intersecting point and the point b is given as 0 0.58 so in this way you can get the resultant force which is coming out my resultant force is coming out 7.53 angle 55.64 and the position of the force is 0 0.58 thank you